Someone shared this account with me, this Instagram account. They said something about they were worried about the lunches this person was showing for their kids, for their vegan kids, that they didn't have a lot of protein or something. I watched a couple and they looked great to me, honestly. So I thought I would go through some more of these and I don't know, maybe have a nice positive video. Okay, so this is the most recent one. My girls are not allowed to eat school lunch because we're vegan and I pack their meals for them. And for the past couple of weeks, Soso has been asking me to make what she calls Thanksgiving mac and cheese. And she calls it that because I basically only make it on holidays or special occasions, but it's basically my vegan vegan version of a baked mac and cheese. Now normally I do a stovetop vegan mac and cheese for their lunches because it's just easier and it takes far less time but if I'm being honest the baked vegan mac and cheese is far more flavorful. But because it takes several additional steps I just don't make it as often. The girls are also having store-bought vegan crab cakes, fresh fruit, and steamed broccoli and that's it. Bye. So I literally just recorded a video of my kids school lunches and I talked about how I don't typically put vegetables like broccoli in their lunch <laughs> and now here we have broccoli obviously there's nothing wrong with that that's very very healthy right just depends on what your kids eat and what you want to feed them you know all of that stuff but this is a fantastic lunch we've got the oranges vitamin c from the oranges to help with iron absorption I don't know how much protein probably not a lot in the pasta assuming it's just basic you know semolina pasta but the crab cakes I think oh yeah it says in the description that they are good catch I was gonna say I, I bet it's the the good catch brand. Those definitely have some protein. My girls are not allowed to eat school lunch because we're vegan. So that's another one where she starts with my kids are not allowed to have school lunch. I haven't checked the comments, but I'm sure people are having issues with that. It's an interesting way to phrase it. I mean, I think it probably immediately makes people mad. I think I would just say, this is what I pack for my kid. This is what I give them for lunch. All those people in the comments about forcing your beliefs onto your child or calling it child abuse. What about people that take their children to church every Sunday? What about parents forcing their children to eat their meat slash chickens because it's healthy? Nearly not as many people are worried then. You can't force your kids to be vegan. Oops, I think I just did. <laughs> okay, I like her. The funny thing is, I bet the vast majority of vegan parents will say the same thing. Our kids don't want to eat animal products. My seven-year-old, I'm not so much worried about them going to school and eating animal products. In fact, I'm not worried about that at all, but I'm worried for them because they would be so upset if they ate something made from milk or God from meat. They believe it is wrong to eat animals and not because we beat this into their heads. I mean, we rarely ever talk about it. I think total, we've talked about animal welfare I don't know, maybe 30 minutes total in their entire life because it's just so easy to understand and it's just so easy for them not to eat animal products. It's not something we have to talk about a lot. It's something that they just understand that they've understood since really, I don't know, they were four or five. Animals feel pain. We don't want to hurt them. Is there a way we can eat and be healthy and not hurt them? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Now, to be fair, if my kid was like, hey, I want some chicken in my lunch, am I gonna put chicken? No, no, I'm not buying chicken. So yes, I am forcing them to have a vegan lunch. I'm sure as shit not forcing them to go to church. <laughs> Tell you that much. I like that box. We have a similar one for my kid, but it doesn't have the little uh, indent in the top where you can put a fork. I love that. That's great. And today on my six-year-old's school lunch menu, the kids are being served tacos with all of the fixings. And I didn't really have everything I needed to make tacos the way they like them. So I decided to go with a vegan bean burrito. Well, actually there are no beans in this burrito, but I used brown rice, quinoa, mushrooms, and spinach in a flour tortilla shell. They're also having freshly sliced car car oranges, apples, and some grain-free vegan churro chips. And that's it. Bye. You gotta make do with what you have, right? Protein from the quinoa. There's a lot. That's a huge portion that looks super filling. Again, vitamin C from the oranges. And today, my oldest daughter's school is serving chicken tenders and yams again. They literally serve this every week. I'm getting sick and tired of it and I don't even eat lunch at the school. That's interesting. So she tries to make whatever the school is having. That's cool. I honestly never even thought to do that. That's that's a cool idea. And to be quite honest, most of the time I skip the candy yams and do something like sweet potato fries because the girls just aren't super fond of candied yams. But I'm sticking to the menu and this time they get my homemade candied yams, vegan chicken nuggets, my homemade salad, and some fresh fruit. So again, we have protein from the chicken nuggets. I think those are the Gardein Ultimate, which are the best. Oh, they're so good, but they're so expensive. They're like $10 a bag, even on sale. They're like $8. No, no. Vitamin A, got some vitamin A from the sweet potato, from the yams, vitamin C from the strawberries and from the kale. I mean, it's pretty healthy. 
Definitely not what I ate for lunch going to school. You know, <laughs> I don't know what I ate. <laughs> so I don't even remember when my mom made me food because I started making my own lunch from a pretty young age, but I would have sometimes a peanut butter sandwich. Usually it would be the turkey slices with lettuce. I didn't do mayo or anything. I think it was just turkey and lettuce and bread. Yum. <laughs> a bag of Doritos usually. Uh, an apple that I think I would usually eat. I've all, pretty much always liked fruit, so I would eat my apple. Fruit snacks, always, always fruit snacks. Oreos or some, some sort of cookie. Definitely didn't have kale in my lunch. <laughs> Not allowed to eat school lunch because we're vegan and I packed their meals for them. And today my oldest school is serving chicken nachos, pinto beans, pico de gallo, and fruit. They're also serving a vegetarian plain cheese option, but vegetarian is not vegan, so you know I had to do it up for my girl. So Sol and Kess are having my homemade vegan cheese, some fresh avocado, which I am hoping will not turn brown before lunch, some strawberries, an orange, and my home fried tortillas. And in my youngest's lunchbox, which you saw at the beginning of this reel, she's also getting some pinto beans and black beans jackfruit instead of apples and a dollop of vegan sour cream because she loves it with her vegan cheese sauce and that's it yeah that avocado is definitely gonna turn brown i'll save their lunch at like nine in the morning so yeah not the healthiest not the most filling thing for the for the older kid right the younger one had beans the older one just basically has chips and cheese dip i don't know what's in her cheese dip it could be like a tofu base Usually not. It's probably like a cashew base, maybe nutritionally something like that. So not a whole lot of protein in that one, which is totally fine to be clear. It's more about what kids are eating regularly. There are definitely days where my five-year-old just has like cucumber and raspberries for lunch. <laughs> That's what they want. Here's a quick look at a lunch before and after. And I haven't posted these in a while, but I did get a request in my comment section. So here you go. This is the lunch that Sol, my oldest, got to choose. She wanted mac and cheese, some French bread, and some fresh fruit she chose apples and oranges and that's what she got and here's how she did you see she ate all of her lunch she was so excited and proud of the fact that she ate everything because y'all know she's the picky one so it's a hit or miss with Kes no surprise there she ate everything but her blackberry but the girl gets down she loves to eat and she just she's a foodie so for all you haters you can be vegan and enjoy your food okay oh that was sweet again not a whole lot of protein but letting the kid choose I mean Again, if I let my five-year-old choose what they get for lunch, it's cucumber and raspberries. Oh, it's a great sentence in the description. She says, choice is not one-dimensional. As a parent, I can restrict certain things that I deem unnecessary, unhealthy, and still provide opportunities for choice within what I allow. Okay, so it looks like the older ones don't have a lot of protein. So I'm wondering if she read comments maybe from people suggesting, hey, maybe add more protein and she's doing that. But yeah, this one again, we've got a uh, pasta. She says it's brown rice pasta too. So quite low in protein with some sort of Alfredo sauce, some bread and some fruit or not. Here's very, very similar to the one earlier with the chicken nuggets and sweet potato fries instead of the candied yams. And today I made them my version of hamburger helper. Now I didn't want to use a mock meat, so I decided to use mushrooms instead. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I mean, it was just kind of okay for soul i mixed her peas with her noodles because i didn't know how else to keep it warm i threw in an extra little slice of bread you know the corner piece she likes that part some pine berries and plenty of apples because to be quite honest with you i don't have a whole lot of faith in this lunch but we're gonna give it a try and that's it bye i love her she's so cute what the hell are pine berries what is that what do they taste like i need one today they're having baked potatoes salad and fresh fruit now oh Ooh, is that potato? Not a fan of baked potatoes, but that's not gonna stop me from putting them in her lunch because she doesn't hate them and her palate is still growing and developing. I put it in her thermos so it could stay warm and added a little extra butter, salt, pepper, garlic, and green onion. I put her daring vegan chicken on the side, some fresh strawberries, fresh oranges, and a homemade kale salad with the fresh hummus salad dressing. And as a special treat, I added in a sunflower seed butter chocolate cup. Think Reese's peanut butter cup, but vegan and without the peanuts. And that's it, bye. That's great. I could not tell what that baked potato was. And I love that it has a little thermos to keep things warm. Oh man, that's awesome. Luckily, seven-year-old eats like everything at room temperature. Does not want anything warm. These are great. And this is why I, I don't like to, whenever I'm like reviewing someone's what I eat in a day for themselves, for their kids, whatever, I don't like to just take one or even two. Because if I had just seen the two of these with like pasta and bread and fruit, I would have been like, eh, all right, this is not, this is not great. But most of these are great. Like obviously she's most of the time giving them protein 
and vitamin C and kale salad. I mean, these are very, very healthy lunches. So yeah, overall, I think she is doing a great job and I really appreciate her sharing her ideas with other people. I love that she tries to match what the school is doing it and doing it in obviously a healthier way and a vegan way. That's really cool. It just shows how easy it is to feed kids healthy vegan lunches. And if you want some more ideas, stay tuned. Or if you're watching in the future and it's already out, I'll link it here. I have a video of some lunches that I feed my kid, my first grader. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much to my members and patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. One is a vlog, one is a more controversial topic. And that's it for me. Thanks again, guys. New video soon.